Greetings! Today, Elytra TV is the diplomatic evening dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Azerbaijani diplomacy. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am pleased to be here with you today, to spend this evening and to share this joy together. I think that each of us individually will be able to complement each other and to embellish this evening even more. I would also like to note that today marks 100 years of Azerbaijani diplomacy. I will not talk about Azerbaijani diplomacy. It is also an integral part of international diplomacy. We Azerbaijani diplomats do the same thing as Ukrainian, Belarusian and other diplomats. We are making peace in the world. We have no other calling. We have one goal – to make the world more beautiful, more friendly and more stable. Thank you all. Peace and good to everyone. Taking this opportunity, I want to express my gratitude that I have shown interest in our celebration. Our foreign diplomacy has a multi-track character. One of the priorities is the development of good neighborliness with neighboring countries. In general, diplomacy is playing a very important role for all mankind, because, after all, diplomacy is intended to make people friends, to unite them. And in your opinion, how important is it for people to use diplomatic skills in everyday life, just in the family? Of course, diplomacy at its whole is the science of negotiation. This is in old Latin. But the fact is, as you correctly noted, that every person in today's world should be portraying diplomacy, peace and friendship. Today, in general, in our world there is a need in the fundamental values of mankind, regardless of faith, color of the skin or eye shape, or what language people speak. That is, the Azerbaijan-Ukrainian friendship can be such a good example for other nations, for other countries on how to be friends. Our example of friendship should represent a model for both people's diplomacy and an example of friendship for other nations. It's a pleasure to be invited. I am very much thankful to the Embassy of Azerbaijan. I thank the whole team, all Azerbaijanis who are in Ukraine, and have the honor to all Ukrainians who come and see all this. I would like to be peace in the world. We need to live by this. I am very grateful. The second country, my homeland, is Ukraine. Although I was born in Baku, but Ukraine is my second homeland. To what extent the art helps people to unite? What values unite people all over the world? Look, I put the sketchbook and canvas, and everyone is gathering here. Everyone is interested in it. That's what art is. It brings people together, regardless of nationality. It is gathering because there is an art. There is love. Everything is there. From your point of view, how important is it to conduct various kinds of events that would unite people? I am a board member of the Azerbaijani Youth Union in Ukraine. And we have repeatedly conducted cultural events like this together with the Ukrainian youth. 
This is really important, because music, creativity, it has no languages. By creating friendship, first of all, between young people, friendship is being created between countries, too. Now imagine, what can be achieved if you constantly, I mean regularly conduct such events, creating friendship between the youth of Ukraine and Azerbaijan. And of course, when children are friends, parents are also friends. Certainly the most colorful friendship begins with cross-cultural friendship. In fact, today's event is devoted to the 100th anniversary of Azerbaijani diplomacy. Tell me, how important is it for people to use diplomatic skills in everyday life, in the family? I think it is very important in the life of each person to learn applying diplomacy not only towards other people, but also towards his family, his relatives and his close ones. And how can people learn these skills? Where to start? One should just start learning self-discipline how you build a bridge, how you take care of it, and that is how you create further relations between yourself and another person. If it is good for him, it is his value, it is a religion for him, some philosophical convictions, some traditions, superstitions. He believes in it. And if you want a good attitude towards yourself, then you must respect this, and then people will respect your beliefs, whatever they may be, as long as it does not hurt other people. Therefore, I wish everyone to learn how to create high-quality and perspective bridges with each other. I wish it to everyone. As far as I know, 2019 is declared as the year of the poet Nasimi in Azerbaijan. He also believed that it is very important to understand a person, to see beauty and kindness inside a person. By the decree of Mr. President, this year has been declared the year of Nasimi, the greatest Azerbaijani poet and thinker. His 650th anniversary this year is widely celebrated not only in our country, but also abroad. In this regard, Mr. Klitschko and I have implemented a joint project in the center of Kiev, in a wonderful park with the participation of two mayors of Baku and Kiev and a monument to the great thinker Nazimi, who really left a big mark in the history of Azerbaijani poetry and literature. I would like to quote his words. They are very famous both in Azerbaijan and outside. They approximately sound like this. Both worlds can fit within me, but in this world I cannot fit. I am the essence, I have no place, but into existence I cannot fit. All that was, is and will be, all embodied in me. Do not ask, follow me. In explanations I cannot fit.
What is humanity for you in its broader sense? To be kind and to wish that there would always be peace. What can each person do, regardless of his location and profession, to ensure that there would be peace in the world? I always say that let the people live, regardless of nationality. They will live. God, He sees everything. The time will come, we will collect the fruition. I wish there would be peace in the whole world. I want this, because it is not only necessary to do, it must be done. And I know that you and I can do it. We can do it all. We can do it not only with art, but also with our intellect, with our friendliness, with our, as they say, mutual understanding in love. Love and everything will be there. You have to leave and we all have to leave. Let's all take care of our own business and then we will leave. Like this, we say Salam Alaikum and then we say Azerbaijan. This is Jan and this Jan, the word Jan, is the soul. Let all people live with the soul, just like Azerbaijan. I've been in diplomacy for 26 years and would say one thing. There is nothing extraordinary in diplomacy. Diplomats are the same people who also love life, appreciate the beauty, elegance, friendship and love. In order to unite all people today, I repeat once again, it is necessary simply to appreciate love. A human being has come into this world only to do good and to love. And all the rest, as they say, it is relative. The most important thing is love and friendship and, of course, the fundamental values of humanity. That is, when all people begin to appreciate the fundamental values, I think then it will be easier for the world to breathe.